Hey everyone, welcome back. Deft here. So today there's an update. Well, actually, I think the update came out. Yeah, it came out yesterday. Community patch 0.1.12. Pretty much on Friday, he put out an update that allows you to adjust your hunger settings, thirst settings, day, night cycles, your day length, night length with these slider bars. So it just makes life easier on you. You do have to start a new game if you want to apply these settings. I could not find a way to do it while in my continued save game, which I will continue playing on my save game. I'm not going to, I'm not going to turn down the settings just to make life easier when it's already pretty easy. Um, anyways, he also added a slider for mouse settings, weather volume reset button to default for graphic settings, decreased the prices for some blueprints, lockpicks, chests, fishermen's workbench baits, larva silk, and spider silk, decreased the time of water replenish in the wells. Now the water in the wells replenish in 15 minutes. That's okay since you can't boil water. I can agree to that. And then automatic switch off on campfires. I'm fine with that. Bugs fixed. Dryers collision fixed. Fixed the issue with the top roof. Fall damage fixed. Landscape bugs fixed. Added some other fixes. This is all for now. We wanted to tell you our artist is working on a large, detailed general map of the world and a couple of local maps. We are also working on a compass system so you could easily find your way home. Thank you all for your patience and your support. Great thanks to the community for sharing tips on the game and helping each other to make progress. We really appreciate it. Anyways, we'll get back into the video in just a second. I just wanted to cover the update. Hey everyone, welcome back. Death Spider here. So we're going to go ahead and get into making some cement. In order to make cement, we need to come to Joshua and get his recipe. So let's go ahead and see what he has for sale. We can get the blueprint for a small brewing pot. It's a container for making potions of a beginner alchemist. It's 2,500 gold. We're going to hold off on that for right now. I would like to have some potions, but we'll get to that when we can. So then we're going to spend 1,000 gold to get the blueprint for cement. Go ahead and buy that. I want to see if I can sell my other blueprints here to him. Nope, oh, he's not interested. So maybe we can sell those to the blacksmith. I do want to go to Gloria as well and buy some stuff from her. And I did go ahead and go to Fred's, the blacksmith, and buy the advanced weapon repair kit from him so that hopefully we can get that done as well so we can start using our metal sword instead of the keep using the stone spear okay so with her i'd like to get to the blueprint small leather bag a container used for carrying things i think it'll make life a lot easier it adds it to the tailor's bench we she did say we would need the blueprint for the beam house and then here's the leather workers bench so i'd like to get both of those if we can afford them so let's go ahead and buy them if we can so this one's going to be 2000 and that's going to go on the constructor's workbench this one's also going on the constructor's workbench it's 3000 buy it i'm sure we're going to go back and buy the recipes <laughs> to make the materials we need but until i can see what we need i guess we could go ahead and buy the leather bag it's 5000 of course and then we'll see how much what it's going to take us to make that because i like to get to where we can carry more items and then i also want to get into some more armor before we go and unlock the hollow fish wolf cave or whatever it's called let's see while well, we're headed over here let's go ahead and eat some meat on the way so if anybody didn't know today there wasn't or yesterday actually there was an update so the well water respawns every 15 minutes now if you restart your game fresh you can actually turn your hunger and everything else pretty much off if you want to i'm not going to do that because i don't really have a problem with food and water especially with the wells it's 15 minutes now every time you walk by the well it's going to be full and then when you hunt animals you're going to have plenty of meat laying around so i, I don't see the point of restarting uh, besides that there's some minor bug fixes and nothing else really major changed you can adjust the mouse speed and a few other items been kept out on that we're still trying to work towards finishing this guy's quest so we can finish the town village quest that's so fred's not interested in buying our extra blueprints either i, I do want to get the ch blueprint iron chest from him but we're not ready for that just yet we need to focus on getting the workbench itself made but like i said i did buy the advanced weapon repair kit so we can start repairing hopefully repair our rusty sword and then we'll use that for now i also went out and mined some more coal and iron ore and if you need to get sand you can just dig next to the river pretty much you can just find like a good little spot there's actually a spot i think over by our house and you dig there that'll give you sand i went and got sand and clay so we can make the bricks and things that we need to oh there was another note that they made the uh fishing ta table and items cheaper so that's part of the update as well i still haven't gotten into fishing yet we'll get there eventually i did want to come back to eugene and I'd like to go ahead and buy the wooden chest from him. The storage is really still an issue. All right, so he's got the wooden chest, and then he has a blueprint for an advanced wooden chest. So the advanced wooden chest is 2,000, and then the small one's 1,000. We currently have 5,000 gold left. The well is going to be 1,000 as well. And then here's the advanced tool repair kit. I think I bought that. I don't know. I need to look around. Hopefully I'm not buying a bunch of extra stuff already. If we didn't buy this, we'll come back and buy the advanced tool repair kit, because I'm hoping to get into iron tools today. Let me see. I was trying to see if it told us how many slots are in here. And then we're probably going to need a mallet, which is 1,000 too. So let's go ahead and buy the advanced wooden chest and then we're gonna buy the well to see if we can't get water at our house just to make life a little easier and then that's gonna leave us with 2,000 gold all right so let's go ahead and learn our carpenter stuff so we can get that inventory space freed back up so that's gonna be the well the wooden chest and that'll be it for those all right so we have advanced wooden chest and the well now so it should be under here let's see what it takes to build these so simple iron parts times two for the well some of the basic stuff besides that 27 logs wow 
<laughs> a little bit expensive, but not too bad. It's like one log run. We'll have that. 30 nails, though. That's kind of rough. To build the advanced wooden chest, I should have known. It wants us to have treated planks, which I think is going to take the alchemy bench, which we still don't have yet. We're going to have to go unlock some more of those doors. Now, over here, like, I went ahead and built the primitive mortar and pestle. It's from one of the quests that we got. So let's grab that and put it on our hot bar. I want to lay down some more of these foundations I've been building over time, trying to get this place built up a little bit. As you can see, we're slowly building up, trying to make us like a little craft shop right here. Let me see. So we're going to need to put the blacksmith bench down. I do want to leave room for the tailor's benches. I wonder if we can go ahead and make those. So for the tailor's bench, we need one simple iron part, 30 nails, 10 rope. And I believe we have the iron parts made. I, th I thought I made some. Yeah, so we have one, two right here. Let's go ahead and grab them. And now we should be able to make the tailor's workbench. Craft on it. And we're going to queue up another foundation just so we can finish the run that we're currently working on. So I think we're going to put all our like leather working stuff back here on the back side. All right, so on the tailor's bench, we can make the cotton threads we need for candles and empty sacks. And then let's go ahead and learn the blueprint for the beam house and the leather workers bench. Okay, so the beam house is going to take five long sticks, two pelts, five rocks. It's pretty cheap. So we need to go ahead and get one of those made up, I suppose. The other one's going to take 10 green hides, so that's going to probably come from the beam house. I think I have a couple of pelts left. Let's find out. And then we'll go ahead and queue it up. Let's go ahead and lay the beam house right here next to the tailor's bench. All right, so with the beam house, it looks like add, I think that's ash, plus a pelt to dry it out. Okay, we still need to build the other table, but I don't think we have the resource. Yeah, we need the green hide to build it. See, I think I can afford to build one more foundation piece. I'm trying to say, we have, make sure to, if you're crafting like I am right now, make sure you save your 25 nails. You're going to have to go buy some more. Uh, we do need 10 bricks, it looks like, which is why I went ahead and farmed up a bunch of resources here. So we, we currently have two bricks right now. Uh, bricks are going to take lime carbonate. To make lime carbonate, you're going to need limestone. So if we need 10 bricks, let's see, we're going to need 10 lime carbonate. I think I made a bunch of firewood already. Let's grab some of that. That's too much. We can't walk with that. Going to make 10 pieces of this. And once that's done making, then we'll queue up the other stuff. Let's go ahead and get some iron making as well. So I've got coal in here, so I think it'll burn. And it's going to give us charcoal as well. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And it's just going to automatically queue it up. And the burn time on coal, I don't know if it's really worth the effort to go get it. I guess it lasts a little bit longer than firewood. And once we get into the iron tools, it should be a lot faster. All right, so we need cotton to make the thread. We need one thread per candle. We need 20 candles for that one guy's quest. We'll go ahead and grab a full stack of cotton. And we'll do it. We'll make a, why not make a hundred of these? Cotton's easy. I did notice why if you're crafting stuff, if it once it finishes one cent, if you then exit it and then go back into it, you'll get some experience points. But it, otherwise, it doesn't seem like it gives you experience to craft like this. Okay, so we need bricks. I needed, uh, I think, 10 is what we needed, right? Yeah. Now we can make 20. Now let's go ahead and craft 20 just to say we did. And while that stuff's working, let's go ahead and put down our leather bag, see what it's going to take for us to make that. All right, small leather bag. It's going to take cotton fabric. <laughs> so we need to go get that recipe. Rawhide patch and raw, rawhide strip. We, we're going to need to pretty much we need to just buy all the recipes and just start learning. All right, so we're going to leave some space over there so we can kind of swing the leather stuff this way. And on this one, we're going to put down the, the pestle. Oh, that thing's <laughs> that thing's super tiny. I guess we can always destroy it. It's not that hard to make one of these. And leave room so we can put walls in if we want to. All right, so on here we can make black pepper spice by using the dried black peppers, dried chili, dried red pepper, pepper, and then see. I guess charcoal turns into ash, and then we can use that to make the other stuff that we needed. Now we need to learn our cement recipe. And cement's going to cost two pieces of clay, two pieces of sand, two lime carbonate, and one empty sack. So we're going to have to get the go get the cotton fabric blueprint. So I'll, let me see, do we have any gold left? Yeah. So let's go grab that while everything's working. Make sure nothing's overgoing. There we got the cotton fabric recipe. Let's go ahead and see what it's going to require us to make cotton fabric. Hopefully it's just cotton. Oh, it's going to want cotton thread. So I guess it's a good thing we made a bunch of those. Let's see how much is ooh, 50 sounds like a lot. Let's make 20 for now. I didn't have enough money to buy the other two things we need. So in order to get the patch and the strip of rawhide here, it's going to cost another 2,500. So I need another thousand coins. Besides that, we're still making iron ingots. Hopefully that's what we need to do to get to nails. Well, actually we can make nails here. So it's one iron ingot per 40 nails. So our nail issue is not going to be a problem. 
I just want to get to where we can make like an iron shovel, iron pickaxe, and an iron axe or hatchet. Actually, we need to make one more of these so for that gate since I already used one. And then we're gonna queue up, go ahead and queue up five sacks, and that should give us what we need in order to make the blacksmith's workbench. So I already have all the planks in here, the five iron ingots, the ten bricks, twenty-five nails. So we're just waiting on the sacks to finish. All right, so we come back to Eugene. We're gonna go ahead and buy the other chest if we can afford it. The smaller one. Yeah, it's a thousand coins. We have fifteen hundred. We're gonna go buy that one. I just want to really get. Some more storage i'm tired of building the baskets plus i want to know how much everything costs to build to begin with i think from eugene we have pretty much everything i say that let me see no we don't have everything we need <laughs> how much is this 2500 for the advanced tool repair kit we're definitely gonna want to get that so i'm gonna do a lot of questing to get some gold put together see the mallets a thousand so we can't really afford any except for cups and bowls they don't really sell for that much but they might be cheap to make so it might be worth it in the long run and then I definitely want to get all the advanced building parts once we have some free money. Let's go ahead and learn that new recipe for the small chest. It looks like our sacks have finished being made. Let's go ahead and grab them. Go back to our mortar pestle. So here again, we put clay, sand, lime, carbonate, and then the sacks. And we should be able to go ahead and make the five sacks that we need. And they're going to take a minute. So we're waiting on that. Let's see what it takes to build one of these little storage crates. So that's going to be 32 nails and 16 wooden planks. See, we have 87 planks. Let's grab some. Let me see, do we have, can we afford that many nails? That's right, so we need 25. Yeah, we can afford that. Let's go ahead and grab half this stack. Put this over here. Then let's go ahead and craft a small chest. Sorry, guys. My, if you can hear anything in the background, my dogs are howling at a cop or something driving by. That's so we're going to craft that. Oh. Let's see, so a basket can hold six slots. Hopefully, this is like 12 or more. It builds really fast. Let me see, where do, we, I want, where do I want to put this at? Um, I guess we'll put it by the anvil for now. So there's a little wooden chest. Yeah, so it's double the slots of the basket. Oh, just turn this off. We're over here wasting coal right now. I do want to grab this charcoal. I'm gonna see. Oh, that's actually made from burning firewood. Throw that in here. So here's our five cement bags. And the charcoal should make ash, which we needed that. So let's go ahead and make a maximum amount of that. I forget what we needed it for, but we'll make it anyways. I'm here at our cement. And we are good to build the blacksmith's bench. Let's go ahead and craft that. So we're probably not going to make it to the hollow today. Today is probably just going to be crafting as far as getting all our workbenches built. Still a really productive day. We should be able to get better gear and equipment this way. Then I'll probably off camera again go ahead and make some more money and buy all the recipes that we need to build better armor and our bag. Right, so I want to put this like right here kind of somewhere. I think it's pretty big. Of course it's dark and I can't see anything. At least it glows in the dark. Leave a little bit of space to get around it. We'll set it there for now. Alright, so blacksmith's bench. This allows us to build the iron hatchet and the iron pickaxe right now. And then let's add our recipe to do advanced weapon repairs. Maybe we can repair our rusty sword finally. And that's going to cost strong rope. I'm assuming that, yeah, so we need to buy even more recipes to get to where we can make this. Alright, so to craft these, we'll need an iron pickaxe head and a reinforced tool handle. Which I already have some of the tool handles we've found laying around. I need to get, I like, I want to get some lights put up. So I'm, I'm going to have to buy the other torch at some point because I hate running around in the dark. So here's, we have two enhanced handles right here. And grab the iron arrows we'll store them on this bench so we know where they're at an iron hatchet head which we make that on over here on the anvil itself it's gonna be two ingots for that and two ingots for the iron pickaxe head which we do already have one of these but we, since we can't make the repair kit yet let's go ahead and just craft one and then we'll craft an axe head. I guess we can go ahead and make a shovel too. And then the next thing to work towards, well, I guess, will be our leather workers bench, which we need 10 green hide for that. Again, another recipe we need to buy, and my lights have gone out. Don't think we have enough to build another torch. All right, so our tools finished up. Let's go ahead and grab all the heads for those. And we'll craft us an axe. And we'll go ahead and craft us an iron pickaxe. So like I said, from there, all we can do now is make more gold so that we can get the rest of the recipes we need so we can advance a little bit farther. So it's pretty, like I said, it's pretty productive for about the 14 to 20k I had on me. I do really want to open up some of these areas to see if it'll help us mine faster. And then we do need to finish the rest of the quest so we can unlock some more of the workbench recipes that you can only get from questing. And then we also need to still get into fishing. I'm sure there's some really good stuff there that we're going to need. And we need to get the butcher's table so we can get better carcasses and hides. Then we want like a side-by-side -side comparison really quick. So the iron pickaxe is plus 5 damage. 
stone is plus two wood damage plus two plus one on the other one mining plus five and then the iron pickaxe is mining plus 15 attack range plus 100 attack range is plus 100 on the stone one also and the same stats apply to the iron hatchet versus the stone hatchet and real quick i want to see how well this thing works on a tree let's go find us a really good tree Oh yeah, 21 points of damage. Alright, so that's like 3-4 hits to get that thing knocked down. But much, much better, much faster. The durability barely moved, it looks like. So that'll get our woodworking up really quick. And pickaxe is the same way, guys. Like I said, I tested it once already with the one that we found. Well, everyone, I was working on getting ending the video. Then I decided, let me go ahead and finish getting all of our current workbenches put back together and built at the house and get the crafting house started the right way. So I needed some pelts because I'm trying to make money, so I'm doing the repeat quest. I was up here back by our uncle's house. So if you come out of the uncle's house and you just hug the right wall, you'll find a little canyon right here. And this canyon is protected by a young wolf. I want to say there was a full-grown wolf here, but right here there was a bird's nest, so we took the feathers, and then I found another body. On this body we've got Motnus Salus. It was like times two. And then there's another rusty short sword, like the one we, we were using that we broke from using too much. <laughs> Because I just used it to kill the two boars again. So it's a really good starting weapon. It's like an amazing starting weapon. Uh, the Monotonous Salus is over time plus 10% hit points. So it's a really good he healing potion. And then if you continue to hug this wall and go down the right side, you'll eventually come to a, what I believe is going to be like a notorious wolf. It could just be a regular wolf. I haven't tried it yet. But I'm hoping in this episode, once we finish getting all the crafting stations. So we still have the brewing station to get from Joshua. We just bought the iron skinning knife. And then, as I said, I should have another one somewhere. <laughs> and we just bought the blueprint for the butcher block and we got those from Sebastian on the farm and that's going to allow us to make better use of our animals so we'll get better hides more meat different kinds of cuts and of course those are recipes we also have to buy from Sebastian so there might not be much on it uh, at first but I wanted to show this other spot so once I get to it I'll show you where it's at another bird's nest right here I don't know what these feathers are going to be used for I just keep picking them up every time I find them because they're worth 30 experience apiece okay so hugging the same right wall as if you were leaving your uncle's house but much much closer to the village is another canyon right here. I'm not sure that this might lead to the Druid's Grove. And I can't tell, but that wolf to me looks a lot larger than even a regular wolf. So I just popped a save. I'm really scared to try to shoot that guy. Maybe he is just a regular wolf. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But he looks really violent. Yeah, we just did six damage. Let's get out of here. <laughs> six and four damage to that thing? Nah, that's, that's not going to work. So yeah, there's a special monster. He's obviously standing on top of a body. I can just barely see it. But yeah, we didn't do anything to that thing. He's super strong. Probably going to one-shot us if we don't have proper gear. I wonder if we can run in there and grab whatever it's guarding. Probably not. It's probably too fast. I'm trying to see what his name is. Is it just a wolf? Nah, that dude looks... I mean, he looks massive, though. What if I get my sword out? I doubt we can take him with just a regular sword. Oh. He's got red eyes. It's a war. 500 hit point. Run away. Okay, he stopped chasing last time. I don't know if I get him stuck somewhere. Then we just kill him with arrows, maybe. Oh, he's totally stuck. Problem is, I don't have enough arrows to fight him like this. I don't think I can reach him with this. Let's see with can my speed. Oh, that's so not fair, man. I don't think I have enough arrows. To... Let me see. I have 19 arrows left. Oh, right, we'll, we'll give it a shot. If I can get a headshot on him, maybe. Like nine points of damage, though. Yeah, there's no way. We want to get him down 100 hit points at this rate. And maybe I can make some more arrows. I was crafting. Trying to watch his hit points. It looks like it goes up one every time I hit him. Trying to pick up my arrows back up. So I'm going to sit here and shoot this guy for a minute. See if I can't take him down. Alright guys, we've got him down to nine hit points. I uh, can't tell if he's regenerating or if he just gets a little bit back every now and then. Oh no, he's regenerating. He's at ten hit points now. So we're going to wear him down with these last couple arrows. Wait, and my bow broke. That's not good. Alright, let's just jump on him. Hopefully he doesn't cause him one shot. <laughs> Alright, so we just killed the warg, man. That thing was strong. We used... I don't have any arrows because I just kept picking them back up out of his face. So, yeah. That guy was crazy, man. Alright, so let's go ahead and see if we can skin him. I do have an, the iron knife on it. No, I don't. I dropped the iron knife off. Okay, we can skin him. I should have just used the iron knife. But we'll kill him again later. 
See what it drops. Anything good? Hopefully, one large meat, two small pieces of meat, two pelts. That's uh, it's kind of lame for 500 hit points and like a five-minute fight. Granted, I probably shouldn't have been able to kill him. And I don't know what he's protecting. It could be the druid. So let's check this out. I see a lot of bones. I wish I had. Well, can I build? I probably can't build a torch right now, can I? Yeah, we need three small sticks. I can't take too long here, though. We're gonna be in trouble. Okay, we're, that, that'll that'll give us what we need. I'm gonna throw these berries away since we don't need them. Again, food's not an issue. I don't really know why they had to change it in the patch. So we, oh, I bet that's a lock crate. What do you want to bet? All right, and then let's get the torch out so we can see what we're doing. All right, so like I said, we have a bunch of bones here. We have a pelt, feathers. I'm, I'm taking feathers every time I see them just because they, they do respawn so if you can memorize where you found them. And then we have bones that we can pick up. But yeah, if you can memorize where you found the bird's nest, the feathers do eventually respawn in there. So we can collect... Collect what? Just a stick, okay. And a wooden arrow. Motinous salus potion. More wooden arrows. Another pelt. Mountainous salus. I guess I should just say healing potion. More bones. I don't, even, I don't even know what bones are used for yet. We haven't got that far. Ooh, what is that? Uh, it's another rusty longsword. It, it comes broken, I think. <laughs> no, that one's Oh, it's a rusty longsword versus our rusty short swords. Let's see, damage plus 18. Plus 300 on range. So it's a little bit stronger than the other two, and it has more durability. And of course the lock chest we can't access. I'm going to assume this is just a regular rock. I guess we could break it to double check. I bet there's something good in that chest. I, I, I've got to get to where I can make lock picks. I thought we were there, but I haven't seen where we can make them yet. Unless I'm just not looking right. If somebody knows where to make lock picks, and I'm, I should be able to make them by now, let me know. But I feel like I'm... Wait, is there a recipe for them? I just didn't buy it because I'm not smart. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm gonna stop by Fred's on the way back and see. Let's break this and just make sure it's a rock. That's stone, limestone, yeah. Looks like just a basic rock. But all in all, it's a good fight. That warg's pretty tough. Uh, you want to be careful with that. Again, that's between the village and your uncle's house. Hug the right wall. You'll find a young wolf within the warg. I mean, it's kind of a little, little extreme. But from there, we're gonna keep on questing to get gold. And we will finish building... We're not gonna finish building the entire craft house, but we will finish building all the benches that we currently can access. So I'll see you guys back over at the at the build in just a minute. So I said we were getting an episode earlier, but we did not. I wanted to go ahead and learn a few more recipes. So right here on three, we've got the iron dagger. So let's go and learn that. And we're gonna just knock out all the crafting stations. So on four, I think is the fishing station. And then on five, we've got the grinder so we can make cornmeal and stuff. On six is the first way to make potions. At least that's what Joshua says. And then on seven should be the butcher's table. So we can get more from harvesting our animals. If we have an iron knife, it helps a lot. That's the butcher's block. And I went ahead and started building up the house. So you can see right here, this is gonna be the craft house. So we're gonna try to fit everything inside of here and make it look kind of neat. So we've got the ironworks here. This will be uh, like alchemy right here before the back door. So we can get back out here and mine. So we'll space all that out. Let's see if we can make any of this stuff and get it all laid out. So most of it should be on the constructor's workbench. So looking at this, we have the leather worker's bench. That's one of the things we need to get done. So let's go ahead and craft that. Next to that, we've got fisherman's workbench. I don't feel like it's that important, but it wants 35 rope and four simple iron parts. So I have to make some of that. The grinder wants 10 bricks and two cement for the millstone, actually. This one should be cheap, the small brewing pot. So it wants two simple iron parts. This stuff's getting really expensive. Let's let's grab these wall pieces out of here so we can make some space. The green hide, we'll take that. We're going to put this one down here so we can lay it out. Uh, we're going to put the butcher's block down and have it crafting. And then for this one, we're going to need two simple iron parts and three iron ingots. Craft it simple iron parts on the anvil. I think we actually need four of those. So we need eight. All right, so with that done, let's go make the small brewing pot and we can queue up the butcher's block. And that's gonna leave us with the fisherman's workbench, which we need four more simple parts for and 35 rope. The rope's not a problem. We got plenty of that. And then we'll queue up the fisherman's workbench. All right, so these are all the basic stations we get without having to finish in all the quests. So let's go ahead and lay them out. So I'm gonna try to keep the alchemy stuff around this door right here. I know there's gonna be like an alchemy table. So I think what I'm gonna do with that is like set it right here. So it kind of looks like a shop, you know, you come in, you've got your ironworks, you've got your leatherworks. Right here you have your alchemy, and then I guess over here we'll have, I guess we can put the fish right here on this side and work our way in. Alright, so the fish is on four, let's go ahead and face that forward this way. 
kind of want to leave space so you can walk on both sides of it. And then room to put chests behind it. Because storage is definitely going to be... Oh, trying to, you know, we're, we're going to put it in the corner. We can just put chests around it. Alright, so with the fisherman's workbench, we can make a bonefish hook, which is going to take three pieces of bone, stone weight lead, simple fishing line, simple fish afloat, a simple fishing rod blank, and then a permanent fishing rod. And this stuff's really expensive. It takes simple fishing line, so we'll have to build all this just to get one rod. Right next, let's go and let the next workbench. It's going to be the butcher's block, so we can put that right next to the fish station. Well, leave enough room just for a chest. Alright, so on the butcher's block, we can should now with using an iron knife according to the one guy make large carcass small carcass and small piece of meat so we can take a large piece of meat carve it into four pieces of meat the large carcass we can carve that up it's gonna give us four bones one gut three small pieces of meat and three pieces of fat we need fat to make candles and with the large one we can make eight bones two guts four large five small and five pieces of fat and then next we have the brewing station we'll put that right next to the mortar and pestle Again, this is going to be like alchemy type stuff, so we can make the Montanus Salus, the potions we've been finding. It's going to take two Montanus Bacchus, the berries that we find in the big forest. And then you need simple water vials, so we'll have to make those on the kiln. And finally, we have our leatherworking station, which we need in order to make the backpack. So we'll just put that as close as we can to the beam station. So leatherworker's bench, if we go to that, we have right here we have raw hide it takes two green hide and two alum i don't know how to make alum yet i'm assuming there's a recipe somewhere we might have to get the alchemy table first and the next step we have the rawhide strip it takes one rawhide patch to make four rawhide strip and the only reason i have that one that's the first recipe we bought so we need to go buy the rawhide patch and then we can make the backpack so if we come over here and we look at this we have the small leather bag we need to have six rawhide patches and then just four of the rawhide strips. Besides that, we have all of the other materials. And that, guys, is going to be crafting for the day. So pretty much today, we laid out all the basic workstations that we can have at this point without doing more quests. <laughs> we just saw our like, own teeth. At this point, you should be able to make money. You should be able to keep going and crafting and advance on. The next thing we have to do, I have to go back and get some more iron so we can get some more small parts made so that we can get inside the Wolf Wisp Hollow. So that'll be the next episode. We'll go straight there. I'm going to do some crafting until then. I really wanted to have some better gear by then. We might have the backpack by then so we can carry more stuff. But like I said, worst case scenario, we'll just die and explore it, grab what we need to do, which should just be a few pieces of soil. But until then, as always, guys, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to like and subscribe button. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.